So there had been some um, new kind of navigation on the networking of inflammatory breast cancer. So we have a few exciting changes. Um, I wouldn't say it's kind of very groundbreaking therapeutic developments per se, but there had been more of a leaders that is kind of coming into the inflammatory breast cancer. So I remember up until a few years back in San Antonio Breast Cancer Conference, if we have a conference from Tuesday to Saturday, inflammatory breast cancer had a presentation always on Saturday morning when everybody was leaving where everybody's already gone. But I think now there's more recognition from Duke, Dana-Farber, Northwestern, you know, Baylor College of Medicine, MD Anderson, of course. So everybody is now paying a little bit more attention. So there had been a new um, network or old network called Inflammatory Breast Cancer International Consortium. There had been a lot of researchers involved in that before, but now we are able to collect more funding. We actually have an RFA to attract more junior investigators so they can share their ideas in IBC. There was some exciting clinical trial that was presented, a combination of the erubilin and some of the other agents and the neoadjuvant, and whether using a different chemotherapeutics can actually make a difference. Uh, and then there was a single cell project that I was kind of doing with the Jackson lab. Uh, unfortunately, we had to withdraw the posters, you know, because of the premature data. But there's a small but incremental changes. There is more awareness. So I would say hopefully within one or two years, we will actually have a groundbreaking, some new findings that we can present.